think of Nikki Haley? Did you ever consider her? Uh, you know, what I got to say, you don't really want to put it on. Uh, Let me hear it. Well, the woman's not going to be a good president. She's going to have no balls to scratch. She's just going to scratch her head. All the women what are women worth to the Republican Party? And why a female president may not work for MAGA? Scratch. She's just going to scratch her head. All the women's good for in my book is uh, having babies and taking care uh, of the house. and, and uh, But that's, that's the old thing, you know. Uh, but I'm old school. So you never even considered her? No. Beca mainly because she's a woman? Because she's female. I mean, females, don't take me wrong, females know what they're doing, but they still got to have a little bit of guidance. Uh, Trump would be the one to guide her through the, the, the... When asked whether he considered Nikki Haley's now defunct 2024 presidential bid, this Trump supporter had a lot on his mind. So much so that he had to share it with his crotch. But the fundamental misogyny of the right is a stark reminder of just how backwards their ideology actually is. This is unsurprisingly how many of the MAGA men think. They believe women are subservient to their traditionalist expectations and societal limits. And some women are intimidated or corroborated into this culture. And some are not. Some are its most fervent supporters. But misogyny is a chronic issue holding back the right, turning inside out when both men and women speak out against their best interests to reinforce the right wing's dated and outrageous gender myths. NBC just reported that Michelle Obama has said she will not run for president. Thank God. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Ainsley said, I would love the reaction from from a woman in the crowd. And, and I wouldn't vote for a woman. And especially, you know, Nikki Haley, I'm just going to say this. She's probably menopausal. We don't need that. Okay. She said, how about we vote for people regardless of their gender, just the right person for the job for America. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of, thanks so much, Will. That's kind of interesting because everyone speculated that she was going to run except her. She has never indicated she was going to run. No. It's difficult to comprehend how folks can conscript to their own subjugation. But this women's shallow argument and cognitive dissonance make it seem easy to write off this rogue section of the female electorate as nothing more than hijacked agents of the MAGA cause. Because, I mean, no woman is willing to wager her rights for the right. Right? And as the president of Concerned Women for America, one of the most amazing moments in my entire life, probably second only to my having my children and uh, marrying my husband, was standing on the steps of the Supreme Court and hearing the words that there's no constitutional right to abortion. That's right. Amazing. And getting to understand that 50 years of this insidious policy a grievous wrong had been righted. And that now, as the pro-life movement, because of three Trump justices, we have an opportunity to win this issue and to do what we've been doing all along. This is the MAGA propaganda machine at its terminal velocity, which has worked wonders for the Republican Party, which has this panelist, a proud MAGA woman, jumping for joy at the Roe v. Wade ruling which overturned the civil basic liberty for women's autonomy. I guess she's just so excited about the government stripping basic human liberties, right? <laughs> like, doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> and while this is expected from the prejudice of MAGA men and their approach to politics, the women of the alt-right are a much more elusive demographic to reconcile with. But if MAGA expects to gain any foothold, they're gonna have to consider the largest electorate in the country and they need an answer fast because the future is female. So what can women expect under a MAGA presidency? Well, we can look to those who support the president now, representing the reality of another treacherous term with Trump. And only then can we begin to understand the to understand what the future of women look like under Donald Trump. We saw the backlash of the alt-right's attack on women's rights. With the shocking midterm election results that upset predicted results and saw Republicans lose key congressional seats, despite these wins, 
the right's propaganda continues to be a threat to the truth. And it's up to us to clear the air and rid our country of this brainwashed messaging from the right. But if there's anything that any of our previous MAGA sympathizers and I can agree on, it's that Nikki Haley should not be the first woman president. Don't you agree? This is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.